What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on Florida State in the ACC Championship game and ended up being a pretty wild one. 31 to 28 we was able to pull off the victory. We had a field goal in the second quarter and as you could tell at the box score every quarter was just an even matchup throughout. Very entertaining but thankfully we got the win and now we're going to play in the National Championship game. We just don't know against two now we can go look and there are still some remaining games in the conference championship week if i simulate all those it will automatically go into the bowl week and we got to see a bunch of other stuff before that so what we're going to do is i'm going to simulate this week and then we're going to find out who we're going to play in the title game we're going to look at their awards and all that good stuff all right let's see if we won any awards and it looks like gallagher our strong safety won the jim thorpe award good for him he had such a great season for us this year was just picking off interceptions seemed like every other game so that's really cool to see that it's been a while since i've won that award maybe the last one was that safety i had at hawaii in that last dynasty and there it is we're going to take on oklahoma in the national championship game this should be a lot of fun i have no clue what they got we're going to find out a little bit later the Heisman Trophy presentation. Gates is here. I doubt he'll win it. Thank you all for being here. Quarterback Tonight, we'll out of Florida. Out who wins the most prestigious Go award Justin in college Gates. football. The Had a good Trophy. season. It's an honor to present this Wide receiver award, out of Iowa. The best college football player Quarterback in the out of Iowa. This young man will become a part of NCAA football. And history. the halfback out of Virginia Tech. Who's going to win it? Gentlemen, the winner of the Heisman Trophy. Congratulations, And the quarterback from it. Iowa wins it. Good for him. Here is the final standings in the Heisman Trophy. Uh, let's see. We finished fourth. I had no expectations for Gates winning that, and I thought he had a good season in terms of his stats and whatnot, but it's just really cool to be mentioned in the top five. He's had a really good season. I don't want to save just yet, so now what we're going to do is look at some things. First off, let's go over to Sports Illustrated. Let's go to the bowl ranking. Let's just go through everything. And we finished number one, and Oklahoma beats out Iowa. Even though they both had the pretty much the same record. Uh, it's been a while since I played Oklahoma, especially in the National Championship game. So that's going to be pretty cool to see. Top 25 polls, that doesn't really matter. Let's go to the award winners and see who won everything. BYU uh, quarterback won the Maxwell Award, but he didn't win the Heisman. I guess it's just because of where uh, he's in a, a smaller conference, maybe, but he had some insane numbers. Now, Perro finished six, which is pretty cool to see, and that's not bad for him splitting reps with Miranda and even Hill. So just to be mentioned there is pretty neat. Then you go to the Bigneric Award. I don't think we had anybody on this list, but it looks like a kid out of san diego state wanted he must have just put up some crazy numbers 90 tackles yeah that's quite impressive now one thing i do need to look at is the oklahoma kids we can go right back real quick see if anybody's there i don't see one i don't see an oklahoma kid there either the quarterback award the byu kid yeah the iowa kid end up winning the heisman again i think that's pretty interesting there's gates he finished eighth in his best qb award and but no oklahoma kid look at the halfback the walker award the virginia tech kid won it if you notice, I think about a fifth of his yards came off for our game alone. We just couldn't stop him. But Perro finished third. Pretty cool to see that. Oklahoma, there it is. So this kid, ooh, we were very fortunate. Looks like he's going to be out for five weeks. We're going to check that a little bit later. Next up, we got the wide receiver award. Look at all these smaller schools uh, being represented by some of these players. Best wide receiver goes to a kid down in the bayou. That's pretty neat to see. Do we have an Oklahoma kid on here? I don't see one tight end iowa kid I, Iowa would have been a pretty interesting game as well to play them they are represented pretty well in these awards no oklahoma kid but there's jason parker he made the list unfortunately we couldn't give him the ball as much as we could just the play the uh, passing game is just built off whoever is open i'm not really forcing it to anybody uh offensive line a miami kid won that one I don't see any Oklahoma kid on there. The Remington, there it is. Okay, so we're going to go up against arguably the best center in the country today. Keep on going. And there is Gavin Simpson. Cool to see him on the list. Next up, we got the Lombardi Award. I don't think we'd have anybody on here. I don't see an Oklahoma kid either. 
Linebacker award. Look at this. San Diego State again. Oh, that's the guy we saw from earlier. My bad. <laughs> Let's see if Oklahoma's got a kid on here. I don't see it. A couple Tennessee boys on there. Thorpe Award, of course, Gallagher won that one. Uh, let's go to the Groza Award. So, Surrogan finished fourth. I don't see an Oklahoma kid on there either. The best punter goes to a true freshman from Ohio State. I don't see an Oklahoma kid on there either. Best returner, kid out of Florida. Any sooner players on there? No. Then you got the Coach Award. So, we finished fifth there. I didn't know if we was going to continue to go up and up, but you notice who were your finalists. Wyoming, UTEP, and Akron coaches. All group of five teams. Just, again, very well represented in this award ceremony. Now let's go to the All-American list. We should have a few guys on here, I would think. First teamers. There is the kid out of Oklahoma, but we're not going to see him. He's out for five weeks. That'll be kind of close. I don't think he will be ready by the time he plays us today. Let's keep going. Here's another, yeah, that's the center from Oklahoma. I'm only really paying attention to us and the team we're going to face. Gallagher finished a uh, first team All-American. Good for him. Now we can look at the second team list, and there is Perro, second team All-American. Keep on going. They have a guard that done really well this year. The Sooners did, and here's a defensive tackle for Oklahoma. Seemed to have a really good season. We'll have to have to deal with that today. Uh, let's go to the freshman All-American list. Now, we got Culberson, which is interesting. The only reason why he made that list, I guess, was because of his returns and stuff. Now, you can tell he got to catch the ball a little bit, but this is surprising. I'm pretty sure that was just for special teams, and even then, he didn't get to do a whole lot. Then you got Dustin McCoy, wide receiver. He makes sense. He was our Z receiver all year, 592 yards, got four touchdowns. Cool to see him on there. Oklahoma, look at this. They got another offensive line, and it looks like their offensive line is going to be absolute stellar. Another one, look at this. Another true for a redshirt freshman. 6'8, 356 pounds. That is an absolute load. So we're going to go up against a pretty talented offensive line. Uh, let's go to the conference, all ACC. Now there is Gates, then we got Perro, Myrick, and Peterson. Do we got anybody else on the first team? We got Butler. Good to see him on there. Gallagher should be there as well. Then we can look at the second team. See if we have anybody here. Gavin Simpson made the list. And he got uh, Kevin Nichols. He would have been a, probably a midline or a mid-level All-American if he would have played the entire season. you got to remember, he missed like the first quarter of the season. Still ended up having a really good year. Middle linebacker, Joey Walker. Now, I don't see McCoy on there, which... Shock, uh, maybe he was on the first team. I wasn't paying attention. Sergan made the second team. Let me look at that one more time. Surely McCoy would have made that list. I don't, I guess he didn't. Well, wow. McCoy didn't even make the list, but he's our best player for sure. Uh, bowl games, we can check these pretty quickly. I don't really care about who is playing where, but I do want to see. We go down to the very bottom. Iowa's taking on Pitt in the Orange Bowl, Michigan and Washington, the Fiesta Bowl. Then you got the Sugar Bowl, Florida State. And LSU, Florida and Ohio stay in the Capital One Bowl. Then it just keeps on going and going. But I was just curious to see what these top uh, matchups look like. Now let's go and check out the team info screens. Let's start off with ours. We're injury free, which is great. Then you got Gates, had a great season. Now what we're going to do at the end of the game, and I'll talk about this throughout the game, is we're going to go through all of our players and just kind of look, well, not all of them, but at least highlight some of the major players. Look at their stats and stuff, because this is my last game slash last video for this dynasty, and I just want to do a little recap at the end. But you got Gates, Perro, and Myrick. Myrick and Peterson have been going back and forth on that front all season long. Then you got defensive leaders, McCoy, Nichols, and then Gallagher. Now let's go check out Oklahoma. So their halfback, he should be out for our game. That's four weeks out, so I don't think he's going to play. But it looks like they got a tackle out. Is that one of the guys who was uh, made the uh, first or second team All-American list? Look at their quarterback. 36 touchdowns, only three interceptions. That's pretty good. Hopefully he doesn't run the ball too well. Uh, the running back, we've already talked about him. Looks like they got a wide receiver doing some things. And they just got a bunch of random people on defense. And they ended up beating Missouri in the conference title game to get in this spot. Before we head back to the video, I just wanna briefly mention some things in my store. First of all, everything in the store is 20% off 
when you buy four or more items, it's an incredible deal, especially for those who are new to my channel, my site, and they want to get into some of the things that I've been working on. And grabbing a handful of things at once, it's a really good a way to uh, save some money on some of this stuff, especially when it comes to my memory card, which is my best seller. It's got all of the named roster files that I have gathered over the years. A lot of people really like that, and it's making their game experience better. I also wrote a new book. It's the NCAA Football Playbook Charts, and I essentially created call sheets for every single playbook in the game, where there are 125 of them. I only pick the plays that I like out of each formation. That way you got a nice base to work off of, especially if you are running out of ideas schematically, what you want to do on that side of the ball. This book is for you. And of course, I got a bunch of other books. My Flexible Shoot Playbook, that's the offense I ran with Hawaii a couple dynasties ago. Then you got the West Coast Offense, the Al Raid, my best-selling book. Then you got the Spread Option Playbook. That's a nice little collection of like just a nice play call sheet for you to run that particular offense. And I got the Power Shoe, the big tight end uh, plays, uh, just a ton of plays in there to get your tight end open, and a bunch of other good books as well. So make sure you check that out. As usual, I was always leave a link in the description above and below. Here we are at the Rose Bowl, the national championship game. Hopefully, I can finish this dynasty off on a high note. At least we got good weather. I mean, we've had like four straight games of nonstop rain. Not today. Look at that. Perfect weather. Two best teams in the country. Iowa probably has something to say about that, but it just didn't work out for them. Thankfully, we loaded our schedule. Otherwise, we may not have got to this point. It helps if you beef up the schedule some. And here come the Duke Blue Devils. I had to go with the all-blue look. That's my favorite setup. And here come the Oklahoma Sooners. I like big Justin Gates. He's been a great quarterback for us, especially this last season. Good to see him finish strong. Now, the last game, he didn't play too well. Hopefully, he can play better today. They're picking us to win. Let's go to the coin toss. I love those uniforms by Oklahoma. They put this, they're a little bit different than what the original ones were. And let's go, no win. We'll just do something like that. So let's check out their roster. Let's see how loaded they are. Starting quarterback, thank the Lord he can't run the ball. So we're going to blitz him pretty hard. 96 overall, but he's just super talented. It looks like Justin Gates in a sense. Halfback, we got very lucky here. This guy is hurt. But look at his backups, 93, 91. So, I mean, it's not like they're without talent. But him being an impact guy, not playing today, we got very lucky. Fullback, 96 overall. So their backfield is all 96 and better, <laughs> which is pretty impressive. Then you got wide receiver. Look at this, 94 overall with 93 speed, 92, 86, 80. So that tells me they're probably going to pass a little bit more than run it. Now, one thing I did not look at was the uh, – I already forgot to look at it the a little matchup where we got to look at their stats. I'm sorry, that's not a big deal now. But you look at their tight end, 87 overall, 68 speed. Not going to expect much from him. You look at their offensive line, 86. He was on one of those lists. 91 at left guard. 98 at center, the best center in the country, apparently. 93 at right guard, 88 at right tackle. So they must have a backup that is hurt. I thought I saw a tackle. Maybe he's no longer, no, I guess he's healthy. Let's go to defense. Now, they run a 4-3. Now, Oklahoma also runs like a pretty much like a balanced offense, if you haven't figured that out already. 84 and 88 on the ends. 90 and 89 and 86. Uh, defensive tackle. Look at their outside linebacker at 87, 89, 89, 84. Middle. Then you got right outside linebacker, 87. So they're just loaded everywhere. They've recruited very well. Look at this guy, 98 overall at corner, 90 speed, and he got 87, 85. All of these guys look pretty tall. Free safety, impact guy, 88 overall, 88 speed. Then he got a strong safety at 85 overall with 90 speed. Look at how tall he is, 6'7". Wow, I don't think I've seen a taller safety before than that guy. That's pretty cool. Kicker, not terrible, 80 overall. And their punter is out today, which is really weird. So maybe they'll shank a punt because this guy's not playing today. They decided to suspend him, which makes no sense, but that's up to them. All right. Again, I'm sorry I didn't show the, uh, the little matchup at the very beginning of the video. I just forgot. We know they're very talented. Let's put it that way. Now, they got an impact guy on the left. I'm going to kick it to the right. Kicks it off. And here we go. National Championship game. Let's take care of business. Let's end this dynasty well. 
Now, again, I expect him to pass a little bit more than usual. Let's do a zone blitz out of the gate and see how Down there on the field, their quarterback line, handles it. Got one special player. He's the heart and soul of this eh, well, I'm going to leave it like that. They may off-tackle, run to the left. Yep, they went halfback dive. Good tackle. Al, that could have been bad. That's what, second and one? Uh, let's go with the man play. They got the best offense in the country, supposedly. Going basic dive. Ah, face mask. They didn't call it. So they're running the ball pretty frequently. Let's, I'm going to go back to a zone blitz. They're going, they're doing that. Let's do something like this. Go play action. Play action. Get him. Oh, he got beat badly on that one. Ooh, that should have been picked by gun. Good defense, though. We could have used that. I'm going to go quarters at a 4-3. I'm going to do something like this. Let's see what they call. Going option. Interesting. Fumble. Somebody get it. Huge play right there. So who made the play? I think that was McKinney. It wasn't Gallagher. I don't think we can go back and look at this. Right? It was McKinney. Boom! He pitched it a little too early. He got hit as soon as he pitched it. Big play right there. All right. They're giving us a gift. Let's go ahead and do a sub package here and a sub package there. Uh, let's go with an ISO play. Excellent field position to they got one around. impact guy on defense. He's the free safety. Let's see if we can get up with three Gates going. It to the Has it to the Almost got the first. This that was close. Second and one. As as yardage, uh, we can do something like slam. Let's just pick up the first down. I'm okay with that. Uh, we can go to the left. No, 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 no. <laughs> I should not have done that. We're very fortunate we didn't fumble it there. Good play by Miranda. Let's go toss. Man 4-3. I like the look. Let's see if we can get something going with him. He pitched it with his left hand. I don't know why. Going to get a touchdown? Nope. Good play by Perro. And now we're on the verge of a touchdown. So our next play... I'm going to keep this simple. We're going to go with a screen. We're going to see if Gates can get a touchdown out of the gate. No pun intended. I'm going to hurry this up. Six points. You couldn't ask for a better start. Great play. Good blocking by everybody. And let's kick an extra point. So we've gained a possession. We need, need to try to gain a couple more if they turn the ball over some more. That'd be great. Tried and true. Not bad. I'll take that any day of the week. Let's kick this back off. Good. Looks ready to kick this one off. Impact guy on the left. So I'm going to kick it back over to the right if I can. He will return this one. This one. Get over here. Somebody get him. There we go. Let's go back and uh, let's go nickel man. Let's do something like this. Let's see what they call. Went. Oh, oh, they picked up the. They picked me up on a block. I think that was the QB choice play, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go quarters. So they're running the ball pretty well. They need to keep throwing. <laughs> Do something like this. Back to that same play, more or less. Good stop by McCoy. I have a feeling this running back's going to give us fits all day. I'm going to try a zone blitz, though. I think they're going to go play action or maybe a some pass. Going under center, so we can do something like the this. Come out in the ace formation. Went with the drop back. Good catch. Didn't get the first, though, so it is going to be third and one. They'll probably go with a big set. No, they're doing that. Uh, let's... 
Hmm, let's go man. I can see him just running the ball. It says they're going three wide, but I'm gonna go four three. Oop, they went two wide. Right up the gut, yeah. Their offensive line's pretty good. That was a good push for them. I'm going to go back to another zone blitz. They're still under center. Get a tackle. Good job by Butler. That was the first team all-conference. Oh, let's go man. I think they may run it here. Second and ten. Ball right around midfield. Oh, we'll do something like this, perhaps. Come out showing three wide. Let's see what they do. Nope, they're going with the pass. Intercept that, Al. Intercept it. That's fine. That's why he plays defense. He can't catch. Good stop, though. Third and ten. Let's go cloud. That should have been an interception, but that's okay. We'll do something like this. I can't pump up the crowd since it's a neutral side game. Now I've got the middle of the field. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh my gosh, what a great catch. Uh-oh, please let that be a holding. Oh, that would be a gift. Holding, oh wow, that's great. We are going to accept that. Third and 20. Wow, that was a turn of events. I'm going to go back to Cloud. We need somebody in the front four to do something. It's going to be tough, though. Ace slot. Where are they going to go with? They're going right there. Oh, no. Intercept that. Butler. Huge play. We'll take it. It's a punt. That's just fine. Now, we are kind of we're on the six. I think we're going to be okay. Let's try. Uh, let's go here. No, I know what we're going to do. We're going to go here. Let's go dive with Miranda. They're going 3-4. That's weird. I thought they were a 4-3 team. No big deal. We're going to go ahead and snap this. Pick up a few yards. Not a whole lot. Take it in six. Ooh, let's go ISO again. We'll do the right-handed version. They're going man. Who is on Peterson? That linebacker. So we're going to go to somebody on the left more than likely. Yeah. Cover two. I threw that way too late. Good catch by Myrick. Want to pick up a first down? First and ten. I'm going to go back here. We are going to go with a read. A halfback read for Perro. Man 4-3. I'm not worried about running clock or anything. I think we're feeling pretty good at the moment. So let's just stick with our rhythm. Let's do something like this. Ah. Fullback didn't get a good block on that linebacker. Second and 11. I still may stay here and run the ball again. We could do a toss. Mm, zone 4-3. Let's see if we can get something out of this. I'm not a big fan of that shift. I, I didn't do that very well. I have it's my fault. Not a very good play. So it is third and long. Let's go halfback corner. Going zone. More likely go to Peterson here if we want the first down. Not a big fan of that shift. Let's see. Cover three. Oh, wow. What a catch. Peterson. Man, that was a good throw, too. Great play. They went cover three. Not a very open window. That's the only chance I had. We can go back and look. There's, I have the halfback running this little corner route, doing something like this. Sometimes that works great against cover three. Now, I'm not on the right hash. So he was open kind of right here. It'd be kind of close. It'd be tough, but I wanted to go to Peterson. We got the first down, so I guess I made the right call. Let's try. We are on the... Uh, let's do a counter with Miranda. Zone 4-3. That's a big play right there. Do something like this. Eh, just get a few yards, not much. I'm going to go. It's on my mind. We're going to go with that halfback screen play. For going man, we'll go to somebody on the left. Let's see what they go with. 
Cover one. Oh, good defense by the corner. So now it's what, third and seven. I may go right back to that play again, halfback corner. Seven yards is a little too far for me to run anything shorter. Let's see if we can get by on this one. Oh my God, what a catch! I don't know how we're getting those completed because those impact that impact safety sitting right there on it. Goofy. All right, it's been the Peterson show so far. He's making big plays. Gates is as well. Let's go with Heel. We're going to do an off tackle with Heel. We're going zone dime. Just don't shift hard to the left. Oh, I like that. Do something like this. Good play by Heel. A seven yard run by the running back. We can try. We can do a dive with Pero. Man 4 3. We're going to have to cut this up to the right, I'm afraid. Something like this. Uh, he got to me in time. Third and two. I'm going to take a chance with Miranda. We're going to go slam. We're going zone. Probably go to the left. Because of that guy moving over like that. Ooh, just enough. Ugh. Okay, we are on the 22. I'm going to go with the deep ball. We're going to go deep bounce. For going man, we may end up going to... They're going cover zero. I have an idea. We're going to do some hot routes. We're going to do something like this. We're going to go to Parker. We're going to try it. Oh, he got beat. Oh, dang it. He, he, <laughs> I thought I'd done a go route with him. We're very fortunate we didn't get that picked off. Shoot. I thought I had a go route for him. I must have forgot. Very lucky. All right, let's go back to a toss with Pero. 4-3 zone. I think I'll just leave it as is. We'll do something like this. Get a stiff arm. We're like on the, what, the 7? I have an idea. Here we go. Perfect play call right here. Maybe. We'll see. Fullback. Oh, let's do the tight end. We're going to flip this. We're going man. Oh, that shift is iffy. Let's try something, though. We're going to do this. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't think about that. And they're getting on the 20-yard line. Wow, that's a big play for them. Man, I just I didn't think that safety would have taken a play, but he did. That's what impact players do. And just like that, they got the ball. So they we gave them one. So now we're even, more or less. Let's see if we can survive this. Dang it. Hey, we got to get over it. Play action. Intercept that. Or not. It was a good hit, but he got the first. Sure was. Uh, let's do... I'm going to go back to man. I think they're going to run it again. Dang it. Oh, man. That was that was a big play for them. Do something like this. Passing again. Oh. Uh, shoot. Scary. Another first down. I'm going to go with a zone blitz. Now watch him run it. We're going to do something like this just in case they decide to go off tackle. High snap. Good open field tackle by Butler. And we got a Gallagher's hurt his head. Hopefully it's not too serious. We got an okay backup behind him. Right, let's go quarters. Second and nine coming up here. This clock is flying. Both teams are kind of keeping it in play a lot. Play, uh, nope, not in play action. Ah, ow. Just my bad. Good, good run. Just perfect blocking. Uh, let's go, man. I said they was going. Man, that sounds about right. Carroll lines up in the shotgun. Overthrew it, thankfully. Two good quarterbacks right there. Let's go quarters out of nickel. 
Gallagher is out for the game. Thankful we got a good backup. But there goes the best strong safety in the country. We're without him today. Yay. Ah, man. First down. Good play. First and goal. Goal line. We'll just do that. We'll delay the inevitable. Unless we get lucky here and they turn it over. So Gilmore. It's going to be on him today playing strong safety. Touchdown. And just like that, it's tied up. All because we had a bad play on the goal line. Well, the strong, their free safety had a good play. That was a big swing of events right there, that turnover. Went right down the field, scored a touchdown. Had no real issues, honestly. Their play calling is pretty balanced. So I can't really figure out what they're going with. Our blitzing isn't working. Unless that one interception they had from earlier was due to a pressure. I have to go back and check it. Nothing from John Redcorn. We are on the right hash. Let's do the tight end version of ISO. They're going man. Let's see who's on who. Cover zero. Back. Well, somebody came on through. Uh, second and forever. Well, we're just not playing good at the moment. Let's do direct. Let's see if we can make that up. Man nickel. It just depends who is going to be on that guy. Okay, we may get lucky here. Do something like this. Ooh, he bit on it. They went cover zero. We're going to get a first down. Shoo! Good. They went cover zero. Otherwise, that wouldn't have worked. You saw the safety come down right there. Okay. First down. We dodged that bullet. Let's go halfback flare. Zone. We'll go to Parker or Peterson. Gates. Looks like we'll go to Peterson. He got bogged down. Dang it. Second and nine. We can try. I'll take a chance here. We're going to go with the option or the toss. At least they're going man 4 3. Just don't shift hard to the right. He pitched it with his other hand again. Good job, Perro. Get a first down there. We are on the right hash. I want to go. Let's go RB deep. We're going man. Uh, uh, we're going to let... No, let's do... Let's have Peterson do it. We got a better chance. We're going to cover one. So it doesn't matter. Good play, Meyer. Get a few extra yards with that. Second and three. Let's go with... Wide receiver curls. Second and three. We're going All zone. Three, Good chance we'll go to that flat round again. I need to hurry it up. Gates lines up in the shotgun. Gates drops back. Throws and he drops it. Ah, dang it. <laughs> oh, Drop the flat round. Big reception that time, guys. Oh, let's do the gun normal version instead. They're going zone here. Go back to Peterson more than likely. The blue devil. Come out the shotgun. Looking. What? I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Uh, we can try. I'm going to run the ball. We're going back to the toss play. We're just out of reach where we can't do the... Ooh, they're going to cover zero, too. Just get the first down, get out of bounds. That's a face mask. Call it. it didn't. 31 seconds. Let's try. We need to get down the field a little bit better. Let's go tight end cross. They're going man. Uh, they're doing that, it appears. Cover one. Good throw to McCoy. We're going to have to call a timeout. Second and three. I'm going to go back. Let's do a halfback out. Going man. We're going to go back to Myrick. We need a touchdown, but let's see what we can get out of this. Oh, good throw. Good throw. Get out of bounds. 
Saved a timeout. Now we're on the 12. What can we call from here? Let's go back to wide receiver curls. Zone again. They're zoning us to death on this play. We got to get the flat route to work a little bit better. Something like this. Do something like that. Get us down to the five. Second and three. That gives us two timeouts. Let's just run the ball. They're going zone, nickel. You're absolutely right, my friend. We're gonna go this way. There we go. Good deal. So there's 15 seconds left. Let's survive it if we can. I may kick it like normal. Our special teams defense has been really solid all year. So that's what I'll do. I feel like our offense is playing really well. They only had one stop on us, and that was just the free safety making a big play. I feel like Gates is playing pretty good, even though he had a couple bad flat routes to throw to. A really strong kick. This may be a touchback. Take a knee, son. Take a knee. There you go. So, I don't know what they're going to try to do here. They're going four wide. Let's go nickel man. I think they may just run the ball. They don't have enough time to do anything goofy here, like pass. They may do that. Go and dive. Good. Nowhere to go. All right, end of the first half. We're up a touchdown. I feel like we should be up three touchdowns, but that's okay. 14 to 7. We're going to check out some stats. Entertaining game so far. And that'll do it for the first half. Let's see what we're going to look at here. 143 to our 219. They're pretty balanced. Eight rushes to 11 pass attempts. Look at our balance. I wasn't planning that, but we are 15 on the runs and 15 on the passes. We had the one sack. Both teams are doing well on third down. We got a fourth down conversion. Turnovers. They had two. We got one. That's been the difference. So we got a one touchdown lead on them pretty much. The rest of that doesn't say a whole lot to me. Let's go to individual stats. 12 of 15, 114 yards. One touchdown, no picks for Gates. He's playing well. Running the ball. Pero, 55 yards. Hill, Miranda, all three of these guys seem to be running the ball okay. Then you got receiving. Peterson is just killing him right now. He's our MVP, either him or Gates. He's just making some killer catches out there. Uh, Myrick's got a few catches. Parker, or tight ends, even got a couple. You go to, oh, I don't know what the deal with my right trigger button is. Uh, Defensive-wise, uh, tackles. McCoy leading there. They got tackles for loss. None. No sacks. But we got the one big interception by Butler. Okay. Now, we've lost Gallagher, but I think we're going to be okay there. We're getting the ball back. Let's go right down the field. Score again. Middle of the field. I'm going to let that one go. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time once again for this uh, Let's go with... Let's do a dive with Miranda. Man 4-3. Anybody else going to shift? Guess not. Let's go ahead and snap that. Not a whole lot of gaping holes anywhere. Let's try second and seven. Let's do a toss with Pero, which has been working okay today. It helps they're going man a lot, like they're doing here. I'm not worried about running clock. I, I feel like our offense plays better when we just keep on doing our thing like this. Ooh, I don't think we got it. We didn't get a third in inches. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to flip this just because I'm going to run away from that safety. We're going zone. Ooh, they're coming in. Ooh. We're going to get some blocking, though. Yes, just I'm trying to stay away from that safety. <laughs> Good play there by Miranda. Now, I'm going to stay here. We're going to do the halfback read play. Zone nickel. Do something like this. Just got a few yards. Not a whole lot. Not bad. Not bad. We can try a toss again with Pero. Now they're going zone. Let's see if I can do a better job of... Hard shift, so we got no choice but to go left. Good play by Perro. Got ahead of it, got the first down. 
moved ahead, fell forward. First of 10. What can we call from here? Uh, I'm trying to think of a play I haven't called in a while. There's stick. I'll call that later. We could go. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip the halfback screen. We're going zone. We're gonna bounce this to Paro. Good play there. Just. Ooh, he got somehow right through that dude. So what is it? Second and one. Uh, I'm going to try. I don't know why I'm doing it, but we're going to do it. We're going back to that play action play. We're going man. This is a seventh play of this drive. And they're going 4-3, which I think helps. They line up in an eye. We're going to do something like this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, good defense. I was not expecting him to cover him like that. I threw it too light as well. We're very fortunate. Very, very fortunate on that one. Uh, let's try slam with Perro. This is two down territory for me anyways. We'll do something like this. Look at, the, look at that play. Go, Perro, son. Man, what a play that was. Go back and look at this. Be patient with it. Get off of me. Get off of me. Just incredible play. Awesome look right there. Insane. Just a great play by Perro. Okay. Where are we? Are we on the right hash still? He, I, he needs a break big time. I'm going to go back to the half. No, we're going to go stick. We're going to go stick here. We're going man. Probably go to somebody on the outside. They haven't done hardly any cover zero today. The one time they did it, they got a sack. Like there. Let's go, McCoy. Ah, bad throw. Dang it. Bad play. Uh, second and ten. What can we call? What can we call? Let's go back. RB deep. We're going man. This time, I'm going to let Heal run his route here. We're going to let him do it. We're going to do something like this. But they went cover one. Oh, my gosh. What a throw. Six points. Take it to the house. Perfect throw. Right where it needed to be. Thank you, Coach K. <laughs> Incredible throw. Boom. That's been a great combo all season. And just like that, we're up two scores. Let's get back on defense, try to figure out what to do there. I love that all blue uniform. Just pretty. Wouldn't have been able to show that off if it wasn't for the NCAA next guys caduce to all those who put time into that. Looking forward to seeing what more is at hand, especially the new dynasty. Next video, you're going to see some cool stuff with that, just in terms of the uniforms and such. Good kick away from the impact guy, but he will return it. Good tackle by 53. I think that's Thornton. I'm going to go zone blitz. We haven't been able to get a sack on him any today. Ooh, I better spread this out. They may go off tackle. Nope, going past it. Sack! Oh, good play, McCoy. The high snap forced him to run away. They got a yard out of it. Let's go quarters out of nickel. Do something like this, perhaps. Don't run off tackle. Good, pass it. Oh, thank the Lord he overthrew it. He chucked it as hard as he could. All right, third and nine. We're going to go back to Cloud. They've done a good job against Cloud all day. They haven't punted once. We need somebody up front to make a play. Nowhere. Not even close. There's their first punt. This is our chance to maybe pull away from this thing. You can tell. I feel like we're the better team. Their best uh, offensive weapon, their halfback isn't playing today, so we got lucky there. Ooh, he shanked it, but we're going to have to fair catch it. No choice there. We are on the right hash. Oh, I'm going to go back, and let's do stick from gun normal. Man 4-3. Ooh, I guess we'll go to somebody on the right. Cover two. 
Don't fumble. Great play by Myrick. I took him over at the last second, made a little turnaround. Get the first down. Now, I'm going to stay in this formation. We're going to run this play action version of the tight end flat. They're going man, but they're shifting super hard. We're going over the top. They're going cover zero. Let's do something like this. Let's get extra protection. Go, Myrick. Get it, son. It's all you. What? Ah! Oh. That was a good try. Second and ten. We need to go back and let Perro do his thing. See if we can make up for that halfback option. A la the toss. Man four three. I like what I'm seeing. Do something like this, perhaps. No, 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 no! Don't fumble. It. So it's third and what, four? Now I'm starting to think about running clock. I got to start thinking about that. This game is nowhere near over. I want to make good decisions going forward. Let's go half back out. Third and four. Going zone, I'm going to keep it simple and go to Miranda. Yes, I think it's in our best interest to run clock the rest of the way. It would be great if we get a first down here to extend the drive. He is L1. Snap that. Get a first down. Just enough. Just enough. First of 10. Good for him. He's feeling pretty fresh still, Miranda is. I'm going to go back to a dive with him. They're going zone dive. We may find a gaping hole up the middle. That shift is going to force me to go left. All that matters is to win this thing. So... Again, I think it's best to run clock. Their offense is good enough to score on us some more, I think. Do something like... Ooh, run, 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 run. Great defense by that linebacker coming off the edge. Second and eight. I'm going to go... It's on my mind. We're going to go halfback screen. We're going to flip it. We're going to go to heel. They got a bunch of players up the middle. Maybe they'll blitz really hard. We're going to have a gaping area on the left then we'll figure out what to do on third down this is one of my created plays actually I just made the halfback screen a little bit easier to work with good play ah, I probably should have stayed to the outside that is end of the third quarter we got a touchdown so we're up two scores third and five I think I'm gonna go back to halfback out I think it's a little safer than what we've been doing before. Now, they're going man. They never go cover zero against this play, so I'm going to go over to McCoy. Go ahead and snap it. Ooh, McCoy saving the day there. Great catch. Let's go with a counter play with Pero. Zone 4-3. Let's extend the drive. If I went running clock, we probably could have got 500 yards of offense today. That'd be pretty cool. I have a feeling Oklahoma's offense just kind of didn't know what to do today once the running back was out. So they went to the passing game, and thankfully we've slowed it down a little bit. Let's go to the right. Eh, just do something like that. I got to remember to keep using that joystick up so he can protect the ball. That doesn't always work. Let's do a basic slam with Miranda. Zone nickel. Uh, I guess we got no choice but to go left. I flipped it on purpose because I wanted to get away from that safety, but they went nickel. Kind of messed it up a bit because it's obvious we don't want to go right. Keep running that clock. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. There we go. Uh-oh. Go, son. Go, son. Big play by Miranda. Good blocking by several people here. Good block there by Gay. Good block there by Lawrence, or left tackle. Parker got a, ta a block. Everybody's just getting involved on that play. We are on the left hash on the 13. He is gassed, so we're going to go back to Perro. I want to go back to... Let's do counter with him. They're going to man nickel. We score here. This game is probably over. 
Ah, that shift's kind of confusing. Uh, I think I still may go right. I think that's what we'll do. But we may be cutting up, getting vertical really quick. On the ground with the it got a few yards, not a whole lot. About four yards on that play. Uh, he's still gassed. Gay, uh, Miranda is. Let's let's let Heel do it. A little worried. Last time, he had a big fumble in a game several games back. In this same situation, but I think he can, he can handle it okay. And I like the shift. We're gonna bounce this more likely to the left, just depending on the blocking. But again, run clock. No reason not to keep it away from them. We're going to get a touchdown with Hill. Good for him. And that's probably the ball game. More than likely. That's going to be very hard for that offense to come back and beat us. And stop our offense. Our offense has played great all day. This is just a perfect way to end the dynasty. Two back-to-back -back national championships. I accomplished my goal from the very beginning. I'm pretty sure I stated I wanted to win two national championships and were able to do it. Now make sure you stay till after the video. I want to go back and look at some of our players, talk about them, some of our highlights, look at their stats and such, because again, this is the last video of the Dynasty. Can't wait for the new one. I've already, I'm ready for it. I've got my offense set up. I'm pretty sure I know which team I'm going to go with. I'm waiting for the next guys to bring out version 11 before I make that final call. They may come up with something even better uniform-wise because pretty much what I'm doing is just picking an FCS team that just got really cool-looking uniforms in the stadium and such because that's like the number one thing for me. If you're going to pick a, a team for a dynasty, you're going to stare at them all the time. You might as well pick a team that looks good. So their quarterback, I don't know what he's doing, but that's just a terrible throw. Well, Second and ten. He's having a bad day. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. So we haven't even been able to get a sack on him either. On we may get one here. Let's see if we can do something like Ace that. Field. Play action. Oh, get him, get him. No, play fake. Just another, just slightly overthrew it. So their quarterback's just been off today, I guess, hasn't he? So it's third and ten. So maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's third down and ten. Get a stop here. Get the ball back and maybe able to run the rest of the clock out. I don't. I mean, I don't know what their quarterback's doing, but he's just—he's not playing well. And well, that receiver—that's for sure. So they're going to go for it. This is their last try. If they don't convert it here, they will definitely not be able to run a clock because we're so close to getting another touchdown. Of course, who made the play? Our best player of the entire dynasty, Jimmy McCoy. So let's celebrate. Let's just run more clock again. That way, I have no incentive to do more in this game in terms of like padding stats and such. There's no point in it. Good play by Perro. Now we are on the right hash. I am on the four. I'm going to try something. This may not be a good place to do it, but we're going to go to a halfback screen. We're going zone. We may get a touchdown out of this. I'm going to run some clock first. I wanted to get Gates walk one more touchdown. Oklahoma just wasn't ready for us. We came in just, I mean, our offense just came blazing out of the gate. Haven't really slowed down. We had the one bad play, but honestly, it wasn't our offense's fault. They just had a really good, good safety. But just like that, that screen play works incredible here against the goal line. It's just easy pickings at this point. So good to see Perro get another touchdown. Gates get another touchdown. We may try something like this. I need to give me a good thumbnail. That's pretty right. Maybe something like uh, something like this. That's a great look right there. That is awesome. Really cool to see. All right. Just like that, we're going to blow them out. That's a just a great way to end it. I know this may not be the most entertaining game that you've seen. I know the Florida State game is pretty wild, but, hey, you can only do what you can do. And right now, both sides of the ball is just playing at a high level. And he hits the PAT. That's 
I'm glad to see Gates have a good game. Last game against Florida State, he struggled a bit. Had a couple bad throws, left the interceptions. Not today. He's been on fire. So good for the senior. Now this may go out of bounds. Yep, a little too quick on the draw on that one. It sails out of bounds, and that'll be a penalty. You can't blame the refs that time. That'll I can't tell you the last time I had a blowout in the national championship game. It's been a while. His Aaron kick is given the offense. It would have been completely different if their impact running back would have played today. I still think we would have won. Because their their halfback doesn't play defense. And they haven't been able to stop us today. Go here. Yep, that's what they're missing. Now, that 22, that running back right there, has been playing okay, but not well enough. Two minutes left in the ball game. Poor Oklahoma. Another trip to the national championship game. It can't get it done. That was a good hit by McCoy. Third and three. I'm going to go man. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 42 yard line. I'd love to get the ball back. They may punt it if we don't get convert this. Huge play by somebody up the middle. Now they're gonna punt it. I think they will. They're gonna punt it. I'm gonna go with an all-out block. I don't think they'll come in to protect. They may we'll do something like this. Oklahoma. Get it, get it, get it. Uh. We're going to fair catch that one. Everybody get out of the way on this one. Everybody get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Minute 13. Oh, let's just do a counter. Let's continue to run the ball. I probably can run out the clock with a minute 13, can I? I probably can, but let's go ahead and just run it. Not a whole lot there. A yard, if that. Let's do Reed out of Ace Normal. Second and nine. Ball on their own 18. Uh, we can probably run to the right again. I'm just trying to stay away from that free safety. So I hope you enjoy this dynasty. I had a lot of fun with it. Good to run a little play, a little pro style offense. It's been a while since I got to do that. Looking forward to the new offense, new defense for the next dynasty. Good first down to Perro. And we're going to take a knee. We're going to end it. National champions, baby, back to back. Again, I accomplished the goal. And there it is. We're number one. We're number one. It's first and ten. Awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing some of these player stats here a little bit later. And we can go ahead and snap it now since it's less than 25 seconds. And there it is. Your national champions once again. The top strong safety in the country got hurt, and it didn't make a difference. Our defense just played strong all game. We were too much for them overall. I, Iowa probably would have given us a better game, maybe. We'll never know. 35-7, to seven, just an absolute blowout. And just a great way to end the dynasty. There they are. 13 and 1. That Virginia Tech game, that running back just destroyed us. We overcame it. That day, I almost felt like, wow, we had no chance of coming back to even have a chance of going to win in the national championship. But we did. We stacked our schedule. It helped. So we stayed in the top 10. And after that game, we just got better and better. And towards the end, we were blowing so many teams out. So let's go and check out some stats. They just didn't do anything offensively. We've done such a great job shutting them down. We had exactly 400 yards. That's actually a lot of yards for what how much we ran the clock in the second half. 211 yards rushing, 180 yards passing. We done a great job on third down. They did not. Ended up doing really bad there. The turnovers is what really killed them, though, in the end. Let's go to individual stats. 19-25, to three touchdowns, no interceptions. Just a great way for the uh, senior to send him off on a high note. I think he would play... Pretty be, be a pretty decent quarterback in the NFL. That's one thing I need to think about doing is just doing the Madden 06, the NCAA 06, start important draft classes and such. I just don't have the time to do it. And there's just not enough uh, time of the day to have two dynasties or two series going at once. Pero, 119 yards, but didn't get a single touchdown. He did get one through the air, though. But look at that. Miranda got a touchdown. Hill got a touchdown. You go to receiving, there's Pero. He got a touchdown. Myra got a touchdown. 
Peterson got a touchdown. So we had five different guys get a touchdown today, which is really cool. Let's go to defense. McCoy, of course he led in tackles. We didn't have one tackle for loss. If you had told me we didn't get any tackles for loss, no sacks, I figured our defense would have struggled a little bit today, but they didn't. We had the one big turnover by Butler, just good for him. All right, let's get out of here. I wanted to show you this. This is the back-to-back -back national championship plaque. You've already seen the national championship trophy before, but I always enjoy looking at that particular trophy. I think that looks pretty slick right there. And they want us to have a, they're going to give us a contract extension. I'm going to, you can retire. I just now noticed that we could retire. I guess my contract is up. That's really cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I'm going to click renew just because it doesn't matter at this point. Yes, I want to renew it. I don't want to save. I do not want to go to the off season. Let's check out some scores for the bowl season. Uh, Tennessee over Kansas State. USC over Cincinnati. Missouri over Michigan State. Then you got... Uh, Clemson over Eastern Carolina, or East Carolina, I should say. Then you got Texas A&M over Kent State. Stanford over Utah. Oregon over Texas. Then you have Northwestern over Bowling Green. Penn State over, or Oregon State over Penn State. UTEP over Wyoming. Virginia over Arkansas. Then you have Georgia getting beat by Wisconsin. Auburn over Texas Tech. Virginia Tech over West Virginia. Florida barely beats o Ohio State. Then you have LSU over Florida State. Michigan destroys Washington, and Iowa beats Pitt. Now, last thing I want to do before we end this season, there we are. On top of the world, great just great dynasty overall. Let's go check out the roster a little bit. I just want to check out some highlights. Now, here are our quarterbacks. We're just going to look at Gates. We're going to look at his total career here. The first three seasons, it was just off and on for him. Now, we ran the ball a whole lot those first three seasons because that's where our talent was. Now, his completion percentage was always pretty good. Now, I try to keep it, you know, I try to keep it as simple as I can for my quarterback so they can get good co completion percentages. But it's his fourth season. He was an impact guy, so we threw the ball a lot more. He ended up by having a whole lot more touchdowns. But overall, 85 total touchdowns. The 34 interceptions, 10,000 yards. I think he broke the single season record for the yards, or for career-wise, I should say, for yards, for touchdowns. Just a great uh, season and career for him overall. Thank you, Justin Gates. You've been great for us. Now let's go to the halfbacks. We can look at Miranda really quick. He only had one big season, which was this year, and he really split the reps with Perro. But he ended up with 850 yards and 20 touchdowns total. Just having a good uh, career there. Pero, if I would have continued this dynasty, very good chance he would have been an impact player next year, and I would have ran the ball a whole lot more with him. But he already has over 2,400 yards just through two seasons alone, 24 touchdowns. Just had a really good career. Now, the rest of those I'm not going to look at. Fullback, I'd like to give the ball to Archie a little bit more, but it just didn't work out. We just had too many weapons. Wide receiver, we can look at a couple of these guys. Myrick, we can look at him. 267 yards, no touchdowns that freshman year. Then he went 255 and just won. And then he blew up this year. Unfortunately, he didn't get 1,000 yards. He probably would have if we didn't get the Peterson so much. But that's just kind of the way it worked out. But he ended up with 12 total touchdowns. Good for him. And he's a junior, so he's got one more season left. Then he got Malcolm Peterson, the Juco kid. Just had a great career here at Duke. Or if, is it Buttles was my other Juco receiver that this guy replaced? Overall, 17 total touchdowns, 1,600 yards receiving. Just a great slot receiver for us. And there's McCoy, 600 yards in his four touchdowns. Good for the redshirt freshman. He became a freshman All-American. You go to the tight ends. Unfortunately, Parker just didn't get the duo a whole lot with for me. He got seven total touchdowns, almost 500 yards receiving. I was going to give him the ball whenever the opportunity arose. But again, my passing attack is just built off who is ever open at the time. It's just whatever the defense gives us. Unfortunately, Blaine Gay, I wanted to get him more involved. It just didn't work out. It just wasn't meant to be. It just, you know, it is what it is. Uh, offensive line, I don't want to look at that too hard. Defensively, I want to think, talk about Kevin Nichols. Six sacks, seven sacks, eight sacks, and he would have had a whole lot more this year if he didn't get hurt, didn't miss like the first quarter of the season, but had a really good career here. And he had one more season left, and he was the big five-star defensive end, the natural defensive end. I normally don't go after those guys, but there's a handful like him that are worth going after. Uh, defensive tackle, Poland, I think, stayed with us for a long time. Yes, he was with us 
all uh, four, the, at least the first four seasons. But he ended up having a good uh, season this year with three total sacks, forced fumble. They don't show tackles for loss on here. Let's go to the linebackers. Jimmy McCoy, my favorite player on the team. This dude has been such a wrecking ball for us. Now, he ended up, his tackles going down over the years. 63, 56, 55, 56. Had about two touch interceptions about each season. But just a forced fumble. So he had seven forced fumbles his sophomore year, which is insane. Then he got just overall 230 tackles, six interceptions. Just a great, great, great player for us. I want to highlight Joey Walker. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he was a Juco kid that we picked up early and ended up playing really good for us as well. Impact guy, had three forced fumbles, a couple interceptions, 48 tackles. He probably would have done more if he didn't have McCoy on his team. Cornerback, Butler and Gunn, we can look at these two guys. Uh, Butler, 30 tackles to three interceptions this year. This was his best season overall, I guess, due to those interceptions. Then he got uh, Alton Gunn, 27 tackles. His big season was last year, four interceptions. But he ended up having a great career for us. Good for him. Free safety, if you remember, Al we can look at both of these guys. Ashley Brown, this was the transfer from Penn State. Ended up playing really well for us. Now, this is the guy I've controlled this entire time, or at least the last couple of seasons. We didn't have as many tackles as we did last season, but I was able to get the one interception. Uh, it's not my strength playing free safety, but I had fun doing it. But then you go to Joe Allen. He was our starting free safety for the first couple of seasons, or season two and season three. But then he backed up because uh, Brown was just more talented than he was. I wanted to point that out. Gallagher, I was not expecting this, but he ended up getting the Thorpe Award with 35 tackles, five interceptions. He had three the season before. Just a great player for us all around. Uh, kicker, we can look at the kicker. I mean, when you have a, a huge offense, you're going to put up a ton of points, which means you're going to lead to a lot of uh, extra points. Just insane the amount of extra points he's done. He got just a little bit better every single season. He was essentially our starting kicker for the longest time. Cool to see that. And uh, the punter, there's no really point looking at him. So I hope you enjoyed this dynasty, I had a blast. I can't wait for the next dynasty. That's what we got coming up next. The next video will be the first video of our next dynasty. I'm picking an FCS team, new offense, new defense. It's going to be a whole lot of fun, and I can't wait. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.